Oh, really? So they are allowed to take some in. Okay, so some legislators are allowed to carry firearms. Yes, I believe but that they... But it's not automatic just because you're a legislator. I, that I don't know the exact... Oh. All I know is that there are some legislators who do carry them. So oh, I appreciate the transparency yeah. on that. I mean, what about the public, though? Is there a dichotomy between how the politicians and the public are treated? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know what the policy would be. You know, obviously they're checking everybody coming through. I don't know what the policy is. You watch Big Love? You seen that scene? Where the, all the politicians carry firearms. Yes. The, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think I'd rather have. I think I'd rather have the dichotomy than have the politicians be defenseless. But there's still. I wouldn't. I guess you know the, the ultimate defense would probably be everyone being able to carry. But, right. But there's metal detectors and everything. I haven't been there in a long time. Oh, you definitely should drop on by. Uh, I don't know if I want to go through a metal detector. <laughs> 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 but yeah, you. Uh, uh, so, uh, Representative Lee just told me. Uh, so you might want to, yeah. Well, thanks ask for them. asking, yeah. And uh, they could probably give you a little more information, too, if you want to ask them uh, if the public is allowed. It's a good question. Awesome. It's never come up with me, so I'm not sure. All right. I appreciate it. What's you your bet. name? Scott Merrifield. And you're Chief of Staff for uh, Senator Michael Merrifield. Merrifield. All yes. right. Appreciate the transparency. You I'll, I'll see you up you. there. All right. Take care. Well, this is a little bit Soviet sounding. We're at Penrose Public Library in Colorado Springs. That sign does not ban all those things in this part of the library, this conventional part. starting to line up. Pretty good turnout already. Although that's because uh, the meeting was scheduled to start five minutes ago. That may be the full turnout or something close to it. Keene, New Hampshire, the capital of libertarian civil disobedience. The folks over at freekeen.com believe this is the place you should be. If you believe in peaceful non-cooperation, freekeen.com invites you to the beautiful hills of western New Hampshire. 
and invites you to join their peaceful evolution. Freaking.com